Okay, here we are at the Chino Fair. Natty's presenting. Logan is complying so far. Logan outweighs Natalie by about 35 pounds. That's the judge making his judgment. He holds a degree in agriculture. Way to go, baby. Here's her coat, California Don Lugo High School. And there's our good buddy Logan. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let you use the young lady out here to win the class. Uh, to me, that's the one that just kind of puts the more better, more better parts together. I mean, more better, the best, the best parts together. Uh, we just kind of look at her. She balances extremely well from the side when she's stretched out, she's severed. Nice uh, right job, now, Natty. She got first place. She dropped her top down. There's her first her place ribbon. In her loin edge, she's better in her loin edge compared to the Lamb and Second. The Lamb and Second probably has the advantage just in terms of his upper hip. Uh, he's bigger in that area. Uh, he's just needs more shape to him. I mean, he's carrying a little bit more condition on him than I would like to see right now. Um, and he's a little coarser about his front. He's opened up in his shoulder a little bit more. Uh, we're both of these, we need to give him a shot more bone and we need to give him in that aspect of them and we need to make their bodies just a little bit better. Uh, but the Lambman that wins the class just does so just in terms of being a little bit more complete in that aspect. Uh, let's go ahead and give these exhibitors a round of applause. That's our buddy Logan. He won first place ribbon. And the class winner in the class number three, Margaret Lamb to Victoria Williams. Natty's trying to hold on to her blue first place ribbon and manipulate this animal that outweighs her by an easy 30 pounds. I'm so proud of her. She's put in so much time and effort and she cares so much about this animal. I know it's gonna be hard on her when he goes to the auction to sell, but her efforts will pay off. That's for sure. He's one that is starting, he looks, he starts to show his age. He's getting a little deep 
furnished chest floor compared to his roof line. He started opening up in the base of his shoulder. Uh, we need to worry. We need to fix him there. But just in terms of one pure carcass parent, one that has some ring appeal to him, he definitely does that. He'll go ahead and be your champion. Step it back, man. Reserve gets kind of interesting. You kind of you got a couple different sorts and kinds. There's not one that kind of honestly pairs up with that one. That one's a little different um, than everybody else. So you got to kind of pick and choose what you think, which one's good enough in the areas air that you're deciding. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and grab the lightweight for your reserve FFA. Um, that one, just in terms of his handle and his condition, he's right where he needs to be in terms of his underline. Um, he travels out a little bit better in terms of just being more natural in the dimension of muscle and base with you. That's where he probably excels over the land that went to the second class. Let's go ahead and give these kids a round of applause. I'm not sure, but I think that was the Chino champion taking a photo of Natalie. Boy, these guys sure are rambunctious. The champion of the market lamp goes to Victoria Williams. The show champion to Destiny Prosper. In the ring, uh, single entry, four inch market lamp. There she goes. Honey, oh, where you go? 